Good morning, Cancers. This is your monthly tarot reading. I'm your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible. Coming to you guys on this March new month. Cancers. A lot of, a lot of shifting planets this month. We've got uh, Saturn changing signs, moving into Aquarius, uh, leaving your seventh house. Um, so relationships should probably start improving. Um, after Saturn gets out of that pesky Capricorn, which is like right opposite of you guys. Um, we also have, what else is going on? Venus is going into Taurus. Um, Mercury is going direct on the full moon. So there's a lot of things going on. It's a universal month seven. Month seven is about um, meditation, spirituality, kind of going within a little bit, making your plan, trying to figure out those things. Um, what, what are you going to do, you know, or it's not an action oriented number. The vibration is not very like, let's do this. It's more like, let me think about this. Let me contemplate this energy real quick. So whatever, everybody's going to be contemplating something, thinking about, you know, what their next move is. So, uh, you don't have to rush yourself. It's also a great month to take a break, <laughs> just to take a break, take a vacation or retreat or some sort. Even if, but even if it's just by yourself or if it's just a mental retreat, it's always good to do that. You know, just kind of, kind of get away from the hoopla of what's going on. Um, this is for sun, moon, and rising guys. You know, this is in general readings. Um, so it it may resonate completely. It may resonate just a little bit. Uh, always check your rising sign and your moon sign. Kind of get a full picture of what's going on. If you guys want a personal reading, I do personal readings. On my website, www.montrebible.com. The link is in the description. $30 for 30 minutes. You ask me any question you want. I'll go ahead and get that, you know, for you. Um, so far, I've had a few people booking in, and they, you know, they really enjoyed it. I also send you the video, too, so you can always look back at it. So you're like, hey, okay, what, what did you say? I didn't quite catch that, you know, so. You have a little something. You get something for it. <laughs> All right, so let's get into March. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ancestor, Spirit, guys, Mother, Father, Creator of all, please give me insight into Cancer for the month of March 2020. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I tried to do you guys' video before and it messed up. Um, let's see if it's going to tell me the same message. Or if it's going to be something different. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. When videos mess up, I give myself like a day or so to redo it, cause so I don't quite remember. But if I do see something familiar, I'll let you know. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That wants to jump out. Okay. So the first card I see is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is reversed. You may be in a place where you're not quite happy about the things or how things are right now. Okay. This is what you want. Okay, you want this happy home, happy life, and you seem to be a little bit unfulfilled about certain things, okay? Second, the second house placement is about what you value at this time. You want this new beginning, okay? The page of wands is about starting a new beginning, being, uh, having an idea, wanting to move forward in something, okay? And something brand new, okay? Um, this also could be someone that you're dealing with. It could be a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, somebody who's young, who's vi who's very vibrant, who's got a lot of energy, um, nice fashion style. Uh, this could be somebody you value in your life, too. So it's the, either the energy or a person. The third house position is about what's on your mind currently. And you could be having some financial issues, Cancer. And this does resonate with the last reading you had. The last reading I did, there were some financial issues that I saw that were up. The Five of Pentacles is talking about needing help or um, taking the month of March to go get some assistance or something in regards to some type of financial issue. This is also feeling like there's a feeling of lack, not having enough, too. And this could be bothering you in your mind. In the fourth house is your house of stability. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Really great card to have in the house of stability and home and family. This is about you really taking care of things. The Queen of Pentacles takes care of everything when it comes to home and family. It's more on a financial state, though. She tries to keep everything stable. She keeps everything together. 
Um, she's very, she's got a great business mind, but when it comes to giving and taking care of business at home, she's able to do it. It's also having emotional stability as well, feeling stable in your heart. In the fifth house, the fifth house position is about romance create, and creative, creativity in children. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is reversed in this position, which is not very good. With the Knight of Cups in the fifth house position, it could be like some stagnant energy in regards to your romantic life. Something is not quite working. Also, you may feel like pulling away from somebody romantically because you're not getting what you want. The Knight of Cups is walking away from a situation, okay? So um, he's taking his cup of love with him, okay? So some of you may be uh, ready to step out away from a romantic partner. Some of you may feel emotionally just stuck. Nothing's really happening in your romantic life. Also, this could be creative, creative um, pursuits that you may have. You may be doing a creative project and not feeling really creative at the moment. The sixth house is about your responsibilities, uh, commitments. It's the full card. The full card is a major arcana card, so this is a very powerful energy. This is about your responsibilities and the full card reverse. It's about not really wanting a beginning, not really wanting to start something or, or feeling like um, feeling like you not very optimistic in regards to maybe a job situation or somebody that you have a commitment with. So um, because the sixth house is about commitments, about day to day, it's about health. You want to watch your health as well. Um, the full card reverse just says, hey, I don't want to start something new. I, I don't really feel very optimistic about a certain situation. The seventh house is your house of relationships and other people. We have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about uh, someone is not communicating effectively. You could be dealing with a person who is not communicating effectively. You could be dealing with someone who is running away from a situation. The person you're dealing with is... Is definitely because the night we have two nights so it seems like there is somebody that could be running away from the situation um, pulling themselves away and not communicating what they're actually thinking or what they're actually going through okay their energy let's look at the eighth house the eighth house is always other people's energy this could be sex life this could be money anything that they bring into your life and you bring into theirs there seems to be the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about burdens and uh, letting go of burdens. This person is trying, this person is releasing stress. They seem to um, be, have been stressed out about some things, but they're running away from a situation and they're letting go of problems that they're dealing with. So the reason why they are running away or skipping out a little bit is because they are very stressed out and they're trying to get rid of the energy versus add to their energy. The ninth house is about the over, um, the higher learning, the, 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 what the universe really wants you to know. And it's the ten, the ten of swords. The ten of swords is telling me that something isn't quite finished, or um, it's some very dramatic energy. There's some things, some arguments, something that doesn't want to end. Um, the ten of swords is also making sacrifices and realizing that oh it's just a dramatic energy you know it's like i want this to be over but it's not quite over yet okay um it's it's dramatic we'll get clarity on this but it's it's something and the feeling of something not being done yet the 10th house is how you're being seen uh you have the ace of swords which is not being very clear not being um uh, not communicating as well so the person that you're dealing with could be upset that you're not communicating also you're not being very clear about what your position is this does resonate with the last reading that you have that someone is seeing you as somebody who uh, is not very focused or is, they're not giving certainty about something the 11th house of wishes and associations these are the people around you this also could be something that you're hoping and wishing for you have the Empress card Empress card it looks like a hope and a wish. This is about you really wanting to be in this place of comfort. Not only do you want to be financially stable, but you want to be emotionally stable. You want to have love. You want to have comfort. You want to have children. The Empress is about having children, having babies, being fertile, having love, and being financially stable. Okay, This is a hope and a wish. And it may, may be coming to pass, may not. 
but it's just right now it's a desire but if there's is a strong feeling of defeat right now <laughs> the 12th house is what you don't know and this is the ten of pentacles you have a long way to go it's going to take a while okay there's this there's this legacy that you're trying to build but there's something in the way there's something that is not quite developed yet um, this could be because of the Mercury retrograde energy going on. There's a lot of planets shifting. The Ten of Pentacles is this level of stability that you want. There's something that needs to take place, and it's not happening yet for you in order for you to receive this. So this is why there's some issues. There's some issues or something that's keeping you from your Ten of Pentacles. It's still the Ten of Pentacles. It's there. It's your legacy that you're trying to build but there are some problems before you can get there there's something that you need to solve the outcome outcome if things keep going the way they are you're going to be out of balance this is also the card of cancer the chariot card uh, there is something that's out of balance there is something that's stuck that is moving backwards right now there is this very stuck movement the chariot is about moving forward um, with your plans there's a slowing down of energy and something that needs to be balanced out. And since that, you know, I wanted to tell you that just because, um, remember recently Oprah uh, had that fall and she was talking about balance. And she says, balance is not always uh, things being perfect or something, or another. I'm paraphrasing. But, she, but I wanted to do a whole blog about that, that balance is not something that's always perfect and neat and pretty. It's, you know, balance is about accepting the good and the bad and putting together. So everything's not always going to be perfect when you have balance. But you can't, when, the thing with balance is you can't have something that's too much negative and you can't have something that's too great. You have to balance out the good and the bad and make sure that they're both kind of e equal. You know what I mean? And, and there's sometimes, there's going to be times where you're going to have these dark moments. Uh, and that doesn't mean that things are out of balance. It just means that you need to add something to it to make sure that there is balance, okay? Otherwise, if things go too far to the left or too far to the right, okay? So with that said, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician card. Wow, this totally resonates with your last reading that I did. That could not, could I could not upload, but the Magician card says that you're in full control of what happens right now. You just need to take control. You need to take the initiative to figure out how you're going to get this done. You have all the tools necessary. You have all the energy and the power to do it. You just need to take uh, the bull by the horns, basically. Let's get some clarity on these cards and see what can be done or some more information that the tarot wants to tell us about your situation. With so many tens, there's something that wants to complete itself. I see three tens here. There's a definitely, you're coming to the end of a cycle that still is not quite done. You, have, you haven't moved to your new chapter, but you're coming to the end of a cycle of cancer because you have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. And you have four tens, I'm sorry, and the Ten of Wands. So you and another person that you're interacting with have come to this, this end that it's not quite complete. There's still one little thing that's not being done. And there is a lack of communication. There, this person seems to, is trying to not be involved. And because of that, you, both of your energies are out of balance. So far. Let's see what else is up. Let's get some clarity. I just noticed all those tens. I was like, wow. There's something trying to complete itself in your life right now. Okay, so give me clarity on the Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Clarity on the Ten of Cups. Whoop, that one comes out. The Seven of Swords. Okay. The Seven of Swords pops up and is clarifying the Ten of Cups. It means that you need to be open and honest about what you're doing. If you're going to be, don't do anything um, sneaky. <laughs> or it could be that you are doing stuff behind the scenes like because the seven the seven of swords pops up when we are doing things that are behind the scenes and we're not telling our plans we're not really revealing everything i want some clarity on that one too there's some things that you want in your life and you're not quite i don't think you're communicating it at all there's some things that you're doing uh, without being 
without letting somebody know or letting your partner know. Got the impatience card. This is definitely doing way too much. Okay, so the seven of swords, the impatience card, and the ten of cups. You want this dream, you want this dream life, but you're just doing things on your own. You're being in they have the impatience card is like wanting to manifest something so bad but doing the most you're just forcing it you're trying to force something into being and you're doing things without communicating and you're not letting the other person know what's up thus they are kind of um feeling isolated clarify the page of wands for me please the ace of staffs there is a new beginning that's trying to happen the Page of Wands and the Ace of Staffs, there's a new beginning that wants to happen. You want this new beginning. It is about what you value. It could be the other person that you value. It could be just this opportunity. But there's a very strong energy, a very passionate energy. Either something that you're very passionate for. It could be that person or it could just be an opportunity, okay? Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the Five of Pentacles is being clarified by the Justice card reverse. Once again, we have some karmic energy, something that um, is out of balance, and it's not happening. So, what is what is on your mind right now? It could be some legal issues that it could be on your mind. This is in the third house, but I think you know that things are out of balance. I think you realize that things are out of balance and that you need some assistance and some help. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you cancers could be just dealing with a legal issue that's gone a little bad. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles one more time. Yeah, this one was a Ten of Staffs. So I think your energy is just like theirs. You feel the fourth house is about being stable and taking care of everything. The Ten of Staffs reverse tells me that um, either your other person feels very uh, stressed out because of what's going on, or you want to let go of all this. You want to let go of something. You want to let release some of this stress and some of this burden from yourself. Even, oh, my goodness. Even though you're taking care of a lot of things, there's some things that are stressing you out and you want to release. Let's get some clarity. You need to change your perception, the perception card. Changing your perception about something. Sometimes things seem really bad. And if you look at it a different way, it's not as bad as it seems. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. In the fifth house position. Three of Coins. Okay, so you could be working on a creative project with somebody and not feeling very creative for some of you because the three of the three of pentacles is about work okay the three of pentacles is also about um working with others and things just working out okay so you could be in a work situation with a creative project you could be involved with somebody romantically at work um or you could just be because it's in the fifth house it's just something with create creativity. So it's either a lover, someone that you work with, or someone who you work well with. But with the the Knight of Cups, it's telling me that somebody doesn't really, <laughs> somebody's losing that love. They're pulling away. So either you or the other person is pulling away their emotions or pulling away their creativity or not really feeling apart. So they're just stepping away. And this could be somebody that you you work you guys work well together. It's just somebody doesn't feel apart. Clarify the fool card. I think it's your other person. Because I feel like you're kind of doing things on your own and you're not including them. Clarify the fool card. The death card. The death card is reversed. It's talking about uh, not wanting a new beginning. And then the death card is not um not having an ending 
Okay, so the fool is about beginnings, and the death card is about endings. So I feel like this opposite energy, and this is the sixth position talking about job responsibilities and commitments. So I think one of you wants an ending and is not trying to let go. Someone's trying to keep an ending from happening, and somebody doesn't want to start over. Because the fool is about beginnings, but somebody doesn't want to start a new beginning. Somebody doesn't want to end something either. <laughs> so you are the other person. Someone doesn't want to end. Someone doesn't want to begin. Maybe it's that. In this situation, it could be that someone doesn't want to break up or someone doesn't want to let go of the commitment or this attachment because they don't want to start over. That makes a lot of sense. They're committed to you or you're committed to a situation. For some of you, it's a job situation. Some of you don't want to quit a job situation in the sixth house because the sixth house is about job because you don't want to start over. You don't want to start a new job situation. So, so it can be a committed relationship. It also can be a job situation. I've seen a couple of my friends talk about, you know, I don't want to start over working, you know. <laughs> but it may be necessary. So that's up to you. Clarify the knight of swords. My dog is over there scratching himself. Clarify the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Eight of Staffs. Great energy. I think this person really does. Eight of Staffs can be seen as uh, communicating uh, energy, communicating their love. Uh, I feel like this person hasn't been communicating. They're running away from the situation, but it looks like pretty soon, they're gonna come at you and they're gonna go really fast. Their energy is really fast and they wanna communicate. They want to bring their energy to you. So even though that they've been kind of despondent lately, um, they may be coming around and talking to you about something. Let's get some clarity on that. But they have a very fast energy. They move fast. Um, maybe a little faster than you. Have faith in this in this uh, person. Sometimes roadblocks are blessings. Okay. Clarify the ten of wands. Clarify the ten of wands. Clarify the ten of wands. One more time. Nine of staffs. Yeah. So your person is stressed out they want to let go of a lot of burdens um they do have their walls up with the nine of staffs there um i feel like they are trying to avoid a situation they're trying to avoid a bad situation and they're trying to protect themselves they have their walls up they they're letting go of a lot of things but they need some time to heal as well they may communicate that to you they may not but it looks like they're going through some things that they want to um, protect themselves. So if you're having problems with somebody or working with somebody, yeah, they're trying to, you got the rejection card, this person is trying to avoid rejection. So they might be avoiding you to avoid rejection or that they feel rejected by you. Clarify that 10 of swords. So remember the happiness. The six, the six of cups. There's some drama between you and another person in regards to something, but you need to focus. The universe is saying, remember what made you happy about this. Remember the happy times. There's time for a renewal. Something's trying to start. Clarify the ace of swords. Queen of Coins Reverse. Ooh, you're being seen as cold right now. Cancer, it looks like with the Queen, the Queen of Coins Reverse, this is someone who is not only methodical in a bad way, but someone who's seen as very cold. 
Um, also a little bit insecure, which is kind of opposite of how you view yourself. This person is seeing you as a very cold and not communicating. Looks like Cancer, you've gone into your shell. Cancers, when y'all get hurt or or uh, upset about something, you go into your shell, shell and like, uh -uh, I don't want to deal with this right now because you're emotional. Watch out that energy that you might be leaving somebody or shutting somebody out. Clarify the Empress card. Because I think you do want to be happy. There's, there's some problems. Clarify the Empress card. Knight of Staffs. Once again, the Knight of Staffs popping up, saying that you need to go ahead and take charge. You need to move, charge, move forward. Um, if you want this love, if you want love, you want compassion, you want something, you need to move forward to do it. Clarify this. Ten of Pentacles. He's moving forward to that Ten of Pentacles, too. He's, like, moving forward right there. Boom. He wants that Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yep. You're not feeling happy about something. Something that you don't know. Could be, for some of you, there could be somebody else involved. There could be too many people involved. Um, someone might be, uh, your part. Your person could be looking at somebody else. This is something that you don't know. The Three of Cups is also sadness, not feeling happy about the situation. So if it's not a cheating situation, it's somebody who you just, no one feels happy. And you're not admitting it to yourself. You could be faking happiness and you're not truly happy. But for some of you, it's somebody else. Somebody else is involved. Like, there's three people. Clarify the chair. Four of pins. Four of coins. So you need to get balance. Four, the four is balanced, okay? It's being stable. If you do the work that needs to be done, if you go ahead and take charge, the four of coins is being not only financially stable, but being being secure, feeling secure, taking that energy and saying, okay, I have what I need and what I need to do. Oh, there we go. This is what I need to see, the renewal card. You're going through a winter period right now in your relationship and in your business and everything that you're trying to do. Things are trying to complete themselves. You're, about, you're at the edge of ending a, a season in your life. You're, in, you're, you're just like it's about to turn spring. The renewal card is about... Um, ending this period and moving on to the next. There's a new season that's trying to be birthed in your life right now. And it's going to take you making that next step. Having a step of faith. Whatever you and this person are going through, because our destinies are, are in line with other people, whether this is a romantic partner or if this is a creative partner, someone you work with, um... Or both. Maybe you work with somebody that you're romantically involved with. There's a little problem. They're trying to avoid a situation because they don't want to be rejected. You want certain things in your life. You want this happy family. You're trying to force things to happen. And you're not quite being clear. In order to get what you want, cancer, you need to communicate. Uh, because this person doesn't see you in a good light right now. Okay. Hey! <laughs> all right guys sorry about that my dog is doing naughty things okay <laughs> so let me get you guys the final advice and then i'll let you guys go okay okay pets all right animal oracle advice Let it shine. This is about, um, Peacock is about uh, being your best self, okay? Showing your feathers, revealing yourself. Let it shine. Shining your heart chakra. Shining through your heart chakra, okay? Let's read that real quick. That's 46. A 
Okay, when, the, when was the last time you shook a tail feather and shined your light for all to see? Within each of us is the peacock spirit, yearning for expression. And you are called now to show the world your gorgeous creature you are for the manifestation of spirit. Come out of the shadows. Peacock says, show your true colors so that others may be inspired to express their own uniqueness. Dance as, dance as if you remember that you are made of stardust and grace, filled with life force, energy, and sparkling light. You are a channel for divine love, and your dance is one of a kind. This is talking about being a little bit more outgoing, expressing yourself, because I think you've been kind of <laughs> to yourself too much. So feel free to take charge, manifest your reality, especially with this, with the magician card. Manifest your reality, and uh, be honest with the person. Um, like I said, if you guys need a, a personal reading, let me know to see if this person is if this person is going to stay or go, or if you want them to stay or go. That's up to you. I think some of y'all are dealing with some various issues, <laughs> but this is about trying to manifest your reality that you want. And something's still in the way. Okay. All right. So make your reality happen because if you don't do it, who will? Talk to you guys later.